What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am and uh, today I've got a pretty crazy story time for y'all that was sent in by a subscriber that basically had this uh, group of mom at his schools end up protesting video games. I don't really know what's up in the uh, world where this kid goes to school. I don't know what Karens think that protesting Halo is going to get it banned. But hey, it's pretty entertaining to talk about nonetheless. So uh, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. And without further ado, be sure to press the like button. Otherwise, no joke, no scam whatsoever. Your mom is going to get video games banned at your school too. And trust me, nobody likes the guy who got video games banned. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so I think we've all been in a situation where a game gets crazy popular at your school pretty quickly, and the person who sent this in, their name is Jeremy, and when they were in middle school, Halo 3 was the game that, like, took the game by storm. Or the, the school by storm, I mean. You guys know what I'm trying to say. Basically, everybody and their mom was talking about Halo in between classes, during classes, at lunch, you know, you name it, people were trying to figure out, like, what you could do on this map, you could find a hidden skull on this part of the map, in this campaign mission, like, they were just always talking about Halo. And truthfully, Jeremy looks back on this as a pretty nostalgic, fun time where, like, most people were having fun and having a good time. You would think that when a game starts to get really popular, it's fun. I remember when Fortnite was in its prime, Call of Duty, all those games, they're a blast when everybody's enjoying it. And, you know, along with everybody being obsessed with this game, obviously from time to time it would distract a student during class, it would come up during class and kind of get everybody off topic. And look, that's gonna happen when a lot of people are talking about something. Obviously, some kids are gonna not be paying attention to, like, what's going on in class. It's not like it's Halo's fault kids aren't paying attention, okay? I think basically the wind blowing could distract me from a class back in the day. Like, it wasn't hard to. But anyways, some of the kids that were in these classes, I guess, were just annoyed with these distractions, you know? They thought that it was just so unfair that Halo was distracting students. You know, the type of kids that, like, whine about tag being too rough or just complain about everything. Like, if you don't want to talk about Halo, then just don't talk about Halo. You know what I mean? Like, if you think it's annoying and stupid, then you're more than welcome to not join any of the conversations people are having about it. You don't need to go complain to your teachers and whine about the fact that, like, people around you are talking about something you don't like. That's life, dude. Do you think one day at work your coworkers are just never gonna talk about something you're not a fan of? Anyways, these kids, I guess, literally had a reputation for sucking, so nobody was surprised when they started, like, whining to their parents about it, the fact that it had gotten popular at school, and, you know, the fact that kids were talking about it all the time. They literally were known as the fun killers. It was like this group of guys who were the sons of Karen, and instead of being insane and, like, afraid or embarrassed of their Karen mom, they embraced it. Ah, yes, I am the son of a Karen. Fear me, I will ban your video games. And, you know, their parents also, because they were the people that raised the fun killers, were also known for just generally sucking, not letting anyone have fun. Like, their, one of the moms had a reputation for ruining a field day because she said that kids were laughing too loud and it was distracting to the competitors. Like, oh, people were having fun on the day where they're supposed to have fun? Who would have ever seen that coming? Anyways, the moms hear from their kids that kids are talking about this video game at school and not just any video game, a violent video game, and it's distracting them from their studies. So they decide that they could not possibly allow anybody else to enjoy Halo, right? You know, no, no, no. A Master Chief's the embodiment of Satan. If kids keep playing Halo, the world's gonna end. We have to put a stop to this now. I'm assuming that's what their meeting went like. But, you know, obviously this was only a group, the original group of like three or four moms, and they knew that if they were going to try to get this banned from the entire school, that wasn't going to be enough. Like, they were pissed about it, but not enough other people were. So they start going around and calling all of the moms at the school, letting them know that the game was bad and violent and they shouldn't let their kids play it, and, you know, it was going too far if they were talking about it in class. And most of the moms ended up hanging up on them pretty quickly. Like, don't tell me what to do, don't tell me what my kid is allowed to and not allowed to do, and no, I'm not going to come protest at the school for them to ban a video game. Most moms would do that, but somehow these moms are so convincing that they end up with a small little army of like 25 people to go protest in front of the school. Which honestly isn't too bad when you're a bunch of angry moms going to protest a video game. Like, the fact that you got 25 people to care enough to show up is a little bit impressive. I can barely get people to show up to anything else on time, and this lady's out here, like, organizing a protest of Master Chief, bro. 
Anyways, this group of 25 moms decide that they're going to protest Halo at the school. You know, the fact that it's being spoken about. I don't really know, like, what they expected, dude. I don't think it's the school's responsibility to tell me what I am and not allowed to play outside of school. I'm not in school anymore, but I promise you that if at any point the school was like, you can't play this game, I would not have cared that they said it. I would have just kept doing it anyways. These moms decide to protest, you know, to save the kids, and their ultimate goal, as I said, was to get the school to ban it. And like, you know... I really don't think that was even possible if the moms would have been able to achieve their goal, but that's what they set their minds to. And they start planning that the best way to do this is to protest the school with, like, picketing, you know? Like, literally make signs, stand out front, yell at people going into the school that it's a terrible school, like that type of stuff. And so they are starting to organize this protest, and when they're organizing it, they're like, we need a, a nickname for ourselves. We need something that we can call ourselves by, you know, this little group. And they end up going with Mothers Against Gaming because they thought that the acronym MAG was, like, really good. You know, Mothers Against Gaming! And listen, dude, all I'm saying is that that's a terrible nickname. Like, that's just a terrible acronym. Horrible, horrible acronym. And even then, Moms Against Gaming? Do you, like, not do any PR research? If you're anti-video games, I understand that you're automatically just kind of wrong. You don't really understand it. But <laughs> I would at least assume that you guys would know that that's a very unpopular name for your organization. Like, you would think they would go with, you know, Moms Against the Unethical Addiction to Esports Substances, or like something like that. Moms Against Gaming makes you instantly the bad guy of every kid that hears that you exist. But whatever, I guess they're gonna go with that acronym for some reason. And the next day, Jeremy comes into school, and sure enough, when he gets off the bus, there's, like, a group of soccer moms standing outside of the school with signs, like, literal picketing signs that say various things about Halo. One of them is, like, the only Halo I want my son to learn about is the one that's on top of an angel, you know? Like, another one is Master Chief, like, my son won't be calling anyone Master, like, that type of stuff on these signs. And they're just kind of walking, yelling something about how Halo sucks. I'm sorry there's construction outside, it's been going all day, I can't do anything about it. All of these anti-Halo signs and these moms are just, like, committed to spending all day just marching back and forth in front of the school to get it banned. They're literally picketing outside the school for them to ban a video game they have no control over. Like, even imagine for a second, alright, let's pretend that the school wanted to also ban Halo. Like, for some reason, the principal was an evil guy. I don't think the principal can go out and tell you to sell your video games and not play it anymore. Like, that's not the principal's job. And sure enough, bro, these moms were really committed because they don't leave all day. Literally all day, they're standing in front of the school, yelling about Halo with their signs, walking back and forth. And they're doing, like, laps of the school so the kids can kind of see them in their classes walking by. And I don't know if the moms had thought about the fact that, like, they were going to be running around screaming about Halo, the thing they were trying to get people to stop talking about. But obviously... That did not go the exact way that they had planned it to because kids were now not only still talking about Halo because every hour they were getting a reminder of it when they would see the, like, mom circle the school, but on top of that, they're now making fun of the moms for hating on Halo. Like, now it's a double-edged sword where they're talking about Halo, the mom's talking about Halo, which is making more people talk about it. So now every kid, even the ones that haven't played it before, are like, wait, what's in this game that's so bad? Why do they want to ban it? Like, it was basically as if they had made the ultimate commercial to get kids hooked on this game from before. I don't know about y'all, but if I saw somebody, like, a group of people protesting a video game, I would want to know, like, okay, what, what is so bad about this video game? And then imagine you're a kid in middle school and they start telling you that, like, oh, it's a space superhero with super cool futuristic weapons and he fights aliens. Tell me you don't want to go play that video game now. So the Moms Against Gaming actually were probably, like, a sleeper cell for Microsoft to market Halo a little bit better, but, you know, it obviously ends up backfiring. And on top of just talking about Halo more, a lot of the school started making fun of the kid who had called his mom and started all this, and they were making fun of the mom. So, like, that started a bunch of drama, too, because the kid tried to, you know, tell them that they shouldn't make a mockery of people that are using their rights to protest. And obviously, they were like, bro, shut up. Go tell your mom to go protest some more stuff. Like, what is wrong with you? Obviously, bullying is never okay, you know, don't relentlessly go after somebody. But yeah, if you tell your mom to come wait outside of the school to try to ban something that most of the school likes, the school is going to make fun of you, bro. Like, I don't know what you expected. 
and they're especially gonna roast your mom. That's the worst part, man. Like, listen, kids get roasted, it happens. It had to have been hard to sit there and listen to everybody in the school just flame your mom. Especially because what are you gonna say to defend her, bro? Like, oh, no, my mom's not that crazy, really? So she just has nothing to do all day and spends it protesting video games that don't know she exists outside of a middle school and she's not crazy? Like, that's just a ginormous L. But no matter how much they were made fun of or, like, how little people listened, the moms would not give up. Like, they just kept protesting. Every day, sure enough, he would show up and there would be people there with their signs. The only thing that was, like, a sign that it wasn't working very well is that every day when they would show up to school, the group would have shrunk just a little bit. You know, like more and more people were falling off like flies because A, they probably realized that they were crazy, or B, you know, their kid had come home and been like, Mom, can you please stop being a part of the brigade of people that's trying to ban everything kids like at school? They're really making fun of me. But yeah, most of them ended up standing down, but there was like a super diehard group of the 10 mom, the fun killer parents that were just like, we are not giving up until Halo is banned. And they were outside protesting for probably a month and a half every school day, just day in and day out, until finally one day the principal decided to like give them a meeting meeting just to see what they wanted. These people were clearly not going to leave the school alone until he at least heard them out. And I think at that point they had shown that they were like committed enough that they weren't just goofing off on the cause. So he decides to have a meeting with the principal and no kids were allowed at the meeting and nobody really knows what happened, but apparently enough was said in the meeting for the principal to agree that Halo could have some negative consequences on people, which, you know, if you're an adult who doesn't understand video games, they tell you it's violent, blah 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 blah, oh, I, I understand that might be violent, but you know, he tells the moms he can't ban it, they don't ban Halo because that's just not something the school would be allowed to do, bro. Imagine that PSA. Alright everyone, we the school that you guys already don't listen to when you're here sometimes, order you to go home and snap your disc, your $60 disc that you bought of Halo, because we told you to. Like, that was just never gonna work. So the conclusion that they come to instead is that the moms are allowed to make a PSA that's gonna play on the school news in front of all of the students to let them know about the dangers of video games. And I think the moms probably took that as a ginormous victory, you know, like, ah, yes, we're gonna spread the message of being anti-video game. The only problem is, dude, uh, I didn't pay attention to anything that they would play on school television, and I especially was not gonna listen to a bunch of, like, soccer moms tell me to quit playing video games when I was in middle school, you know. In their head, it was gonna make a big difference, but let's be honest, I don't think any PSA that an adult has ever done for kids has made a big difference. I'm sure in their mind, bro, that they, like, really thought it was gonna work. In fact, the only thing that we know about, like, how what, well they thought it was gonna work is the fact that the fun killer kids were, like, going around telling everybody that, you know, Pretty soon they weren't gonna want to play Halo anyways, like there was no way that they were gonna want to play Halo. And everybody had been kind of blowing them off because like, well, I mean, if your mom's protest hasn't been working, I don't know what's gonna magically change now. But sure enough, one day everybody comes into class and they get told that they're gonna be watching something on the TV. And this is a long time ago, so it's like the TV with the VCR where they wheel it in, you know, like, rah, 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 and you know it's gonna be a good day. And usually this is a good sign, but you know, they turn on the VCR and it starts playing. And it's like a decently well-made PSA, he'll give them that, but it's just absolute nonsense. Like, it was as if somebody had googled, you know, why your kids shouldn't play Halo, found the worst, least reputable, most nonsense articles, and just put them all into one PSA. The moms are saying facts that, like, you know, if you play Halo, you're 87% more likely to commit a, a car robbery, which I don't believe is a real fact, bro. Like, I just don't think that's true. And also, it's just a very funny fact, dude. Like, okay, how are these things linked? How, how is me playing a video game gonna make me go out and steal a car? Alright guys, I'm gonna interrupt the video for just one second. If you take a look at your screen now, you'll see a gift card code. For those of you that don't know, I give away a gift card in every single video I post here on this channel as a way to say thank you to all of you guys for supporting the videos and having on those notifications. So, if you haven't already, you should turn on those notifications so you never miss another video. I would really appreciate it. And if you already have them on, then big, big thank you. You're an absolute G and I'll shut up and get back to the video. Thanks. And listen, I like obviously am making fun of what they hate Halo for, but there's really some things that I could see parents not liking about that game that are like relatively logical. You know, it is a pretty violent game. I can get why some parents might not want their kids playing that. It, it, it does in like, it does have some weird stuff with like the flood and their priests and whatnot. I guess I don't really get it, but like whatever, I guess like that's more of an argument. 
But the stuff that the moms were going with were just crazy. Like, Halo does not make me more likely to rob a car. What in the world are you talking about? You had the answer in your hands. You could have just been like, oh, a lot of violence probably isn't good for young kids. There's not really an argument people can have against you, you know, but like going with the Grand Theft Auto thing ain't gonna work. And on top of that, some of the other facts that they said about, you know, why Halo was dangerous is that like, it was increasing dropout rates across the nation, which, yeah, dropout rates were going up at the same time, maybe. But how do you know that that's exactly Halo? Like, I don't feel like there was any scientific studies out there that were like, the decline of education in America and how Halo 3 impacted the social hierarchies netting America's smarts. Like, that just was never a book that was written. I don't feel like data actually exists on how Halo affects people's dropout rates. And even then, I feel like everybody's played it at least once. You know, if you were alive at that time, you've played it before. So, like, is everyone gonna drop out? What about the people that have already played it? Is it just too late? If I've already been playing Halo for eight hours a day, and now you tell me that it drives me crazy and makes me violent, can I save myself? Or, like, should I might as well just keep playing because it's, it's too late now? Regardless, everyone's making fun of them, roasting the mom, making fun of the parents, literally laughing at this PSA. And some of the no fun kids start like getting defensive saying that, you know, their parents worked hard on this project and they should at least respect it till it's over. And all the kids in the class start being like, screw your parents, bro. We don't care. We don't owe them any respect. None of us care about this. I don't care how hard they worked on it. And at that point, they start going back and forth, kind of arguing about it, you know. And the teacher ended up turning it off in Jeremy's class early. Most of the class probably, or most of the school probably, ended up watching the PSA all the way through. But, like, because of the argument in their class, it got turned off early. So it was just what they had seen, you know. So after school, the way that this middle school released is, like, these people would have to walk across this big field to where all the cars and the buses were. And sure enough, when the doors open for everybody to start crossing the field, the moms are standing there, like all the moms that had been protesting, and they have their signs, and they are like standing there expecting people to kind of greet them as heroes, I guess. I don't really know what they were expecting, but they had almost come to be like, yeah, that's right, we're the people that made that PSA, and we just saved you from Halo, so this is us, like they were trying to be heroic or something. And obviously all the kid walking out, like all the kids walking out there just kind of made fun of them. Were like saying quotes from their PSA that they thought were corny back at them saying like, Oh, you really showed me I'm never going to play Halo. Really? No, I'm going to go play it right now. Just kind of trolling them. Which, listen, I'm not saying it's nice to troll parents, but like, dude, if you play a PSA and then you stand outside of the school, kids are gonna make fun of you, bro. Like, I'm not saying it's right, but there's a certain point of just human nature is going to be human nature and middle school kids make fun of things. It just is what it is. So, uh, yeah, I will say that seemed to kind of embarrass them quite a bit. They were getting pretty red. They thought they were going to be heroes. And after that, the protest group stopped showing up. Jeremy doesn't know if that was, like, part of their agreement with the principal. You know, if I play this stupid PSA to the students, you guys have to stop showing up. Or if it was just the embarrassment of the PSA not working. But they really never did come to the school again after that. Maybe the no fun kids finally were like, all right, we got to have a little bit of fun allowed. All right, mom? So we need you to take 15 steps back. See, what I don't understand is, like, I'm assuming some of them had to have been stay-at-home moms, because otherwise, how do you have so much time to do this? Like, you have enough free time to literally go to your kid's school every day just to protest an Xbox game? Like, it, it, huh? They, sh they, they better have been stay-at-home moms. Otherwise, I'm really confused on what they told their boss, dude. Like, the boss was also a very avid Halo hater, just despised the idea of anyone playing an M-rated video game. <gasps> You're protesting Halo? Forget your job. We don't need you to be an accountant. We need you to get out there and prevent these children from liking Master Chief. That's way more important than any job you could have had here. Like, dang, every day? I don't think I really, like, hate any video game enough to protest, especially that long. That's just a lot of work that goes into that. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, I think that's gonna do it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, I would really appreciate you taking a second to press the like button. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought. And, of course, subscribe if you're new and turn on those notifications. It really helps out the channel, and I would appreciate it. If you enjoyed the intro song from a little bit ago, a link to that can be found in the description, along with a link to my podcast, The Scuffed Cast. 
And if you take a look on your screen now, the coolest merch to ever exist is also down in that subscription box or description, not subscription. You should subscribe. You guys know what I'm trying to say as well. And uh, yeah, last but certainly not least, if you use code SCRUBBY at the G Fuel checkout, it gives you a discount. Helps me out, helps you out. Literally everybody is a winner. And uh, yeah, on that note, guys, I think that'll do it for the video. Don't get anyone pregnant. If you do, make sure they're hot. And I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.